it's Craven Scratch Golf Life. So, you've not heard from me for a very long time, and there's quite a few reasons for that, and you can quite obviously see that at the moment I'm not on the golf course, which I usually am when I'm doing these videos. So I'm going to explain why I've been so quiet on YouTube, and why I'm not currently on the golf course. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so, why has it been so long since you've heard from me on YouTube? Well, there's a few reasons for that. The one thing was, when I was doing a lot of the videos, we were in lockdown and it was something to do and it came, gave me uh, something to focus on while I was stuck at home. As soon as we came out of lockdown at the end of March, uh, it was back to work, back to business and it was just incredibly busy, like off the scale busy. So actually, not only was I not getting any time to do some YouTube videos, I actually wasn't getting any time to play any golf either. So, through March and sort of partway through April, uh, I wasn't really playing any golf. Uh, I was just completely wrapped up in work. Uh, and then, sort of back end of April, started to calm down a little bit, started to play some golf. Uh, and to be honest with you, the, the few times that I was getting to play golf, I just wanted to make sure that I was utilising that time to practice as much as possible because obviously I knew the Senior British Open was coming up not in the too distant future so when you do these YouTube videos on the golf course I think what people don't understand is that actually you don't actually hit that many shots you don't do any constructive golf you're setting the camera up and you know you're wary of people behind you and you're trying to rush and all this kind of stuff so you can't do any constructive practice at all so the few times that I was getting to play I was always wanting to just utilize that time and subsequently just didn't do any videos. Uh, so I started to play a few competitions and it was going okay, I was playing all right, but due to not playing as much as I wanted to, uh, the scores weren't, you know, I was playing really well for 15 holes and then three holes would sort of let me down a little bit. But the idea was that as we got nearer to the Senior British Open, which is on the 19th of July, I'd start to ramp up my practice and uh, hopefully you know get my game in some sort of good shape to go and enjoy it and have a, have a go at the the qualifying but two weeks ago that all came crashing down when my back went again now I have got a history of back trouble when playing golf uh, and I hadn't had any back trouble whatsoever so I honestly thought it was all completely behind me but I'm afraid it went and it went big uh, you know, it was like, you know, rolling out of bed, crawling up the stairs, couldn't put my socks on. Uh, I've got to a point now where my mobility in everyday life isn't too bad. Uh, and I'm doing all the rehab and the physio and all that kind of stuff. But there's no way I can hit a golf shot. No, it's not even, no, not a chance, not even the remotest chance. So as I sit here now, we are less than three, week, three weeks away from British Open, senior British Open qualifying. And it's looking incredibly unlikely that I'm gonna be able to get on the first tee and actually play, which is, you know, obviously extremely disappointing. Uh, but at the same time, gotta try and keep some perspective and, you know, actually just getting my back right and getting my health right again is the most important thing. So that's why you know basically there's been a big radio silence a mixture of extremely busy at work and then struck down by a very bad back injury uh, so I'm rehabbing for another two weeks and then I am actually then going to go and try and play golf and just see whether it does react or not uh, if it doesn't react then I will go to senior British Open qualifying and I will have a go but it will be on the back of not hitting any golf shots for well over a month so the chances of doing well are pretty much gone, I would have thought. Uh, but I think the more realistic uh, path that's going to happen here is that I will go and play golf again and my back will break down again and, you know, I won't be able to play. And that, that judgment is based on previous history. There's something that when my back goes the twisting movement, the, the actual uh, physiological movement of a golf swing always affects it and always makes it go. It doesn't go as bad as it did just previously where I literally couldn't move, but it goes to a degree where I can't even 
think about hitting a golf shot, you know, or you know, making a, a positive golf swing. You literally just go into complete protective mode, and it's over basically. So that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, not a lot else to say really. We'll 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 see how we do in the next two weeks, and then a week before qualifying, I'll go and play. I might do a video about that and just see how it goes. Uh, but the whole future of my golf is completely up in the air at the moment because the last time my back went like this it did force me to stop playing golf and I went back to do my cycling which is my other sport that I, I enjoy and I do uh, and for whatever reason cycling doesn't affect my back at all I don't get any discomfort from cycling like I say it's something in the golf swing that always affects it the most so <clears throat> uh, I'm kind of resigned a little bit to the fact that uh, this could be the end of the road for my golf again uh, and you know that's obviously like I say very frustrating and very disappointing but you know if it means I've got to get back on the bike and go and enjoy my cycling and that's my sport of choice and get out with my friends and keep active and I don't get any discomfort from my back then you know that's what you've got to do okay so I'll leave it there I'm sure I will do another video with an update <coughs> excuse me with where uh, where I'm up to but right here now uh, on the 1st of July literally 18 days away from senior British Open qualifying I'm not even sure whether I'm gonna be able to play golf again uh, never mind actually get onto the start line for uh, the qualifying round in 18 days okay I'll leave it there. I hope everyone else is fine, enjoying the weather, getting out on the golf course uh, and enjoying your golf. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.